Well, I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by the IACP's Executive Director, Bart Johnson. Bart, welcome. Thank you, Stephen. It's great, great to, to be here. here. It's great to be here. Is this your first conference? Yes, it is. Looking it forward is. to it. Very much so. Very excited about it. The membership uh, is really stepping up. A lot of people, a lot of great, exciting workshops and programs, so very much looking forward to it. So what are the, some of the highlights for you? What are you looking forward to most at the conference? Uh, I, I believe it's a lot of the training uh, seminars and workshops that are being held, uh, especially as it relates to uh, officer safety. I think, Stephen, you know uh, quite well that uh, the IACP uh, is very uh, serious about officer safety. It's always been a priority and always will continue to be a priority, and we're going to make sure it stays that way front and center. So you've got the chance with uh, 14, 15,000 uh, of your members coming along here uh, this week. But what is, what's the vision? What are you going to be putting? How is the IACP going to adapt to the 21st century? I, I think we're already doing that. We have a great board of officers. They understand what the uh, issues and challenges are that we're facing, uh, whether it's uh, the economy, uh, technology, uh, cloud computing. And that's something that we need to provide to the membership. We're a membership organization, and they need the information that we bring to the table as it relates to training, uh, advocacy, uh, best practices. And we want to share that with them as the leaders of today and then we certainly want to develop the leaders of tomorrow. So the IACP has got an illustrious past, uh, we all know that, but is it time now for it to be a leadership organization? I, I honestly believe it's always been a leadership organization, but having said that, there's always an opportunity to do more. So we're redoubling our efforts to be able to do that, to empower uh, and advocate for uh, law enforcement leaders. You know, face it, it it's very challenging times, uh, whether it's transnational organized crime, uh, national security, and once again, the technology, the pace of the technology, you don't want it to outpace the policies that are being developed. And the challenges facing your members are growing ever greater. Yes, and violence is, is one of those, and that's where I'm very proud, once again, working with President McNeil to establish the Center for Officer Safety and Wellness. And what that's intended to do is bring together in a very strategic, forward-leaning manner all the different pieces of the great work that we've been doing and share those experiences to include suicide. And suicide are one of those topics. It's a hard topic to discuss, but we're going to discuss it and try to identify, working with many of our partners, to what are the root causes and how we as an organization could try to prevent it. Well, Bart, thank you very much indeed for uh, talking to us today. I hope we'll catch up with you again during the event, so thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate it.